Welcome back pipe smokers. Welcome back at the green table. It has been a while, but there were so many video responses to be done. There were so many giveaways that I just don't have the time to do a proper green table video. And with this and probably the next video, I would like to show you some pipes of Eastern European origin. This might be interesting for you guys overseas especially, because they are not very well known. But many Eastern European countries have retained the pipe making traditions. So what you see here are two Dr. Hardy pipes. Dr. Hardy was a sub brand by the famous Lorenzo brand, which started in around 1900 in Italy. And the company became really big in the 1970s. Due to some personal tragedy, the company declined in the 80s and nowadays exists only as a brand name. As I said, they were highly popular in the 70s. They had a sub-brand or a line of pipes called Spitfire, which was also very popular. You'll still find lots of these pipes online. And the cheapest line they had were the Dr. Hardy pipes. Those pipes were not manufactured in Italy, but rather in Albania, which is interesting because at the time Albania still was a communist country and Albania was also the provider for Briar to all the communist Eastern European countries. It is said to have a lower quality than other Mediterranean Briars, but since I never had a Dr. Hardy pipe or Eastern European pipe from the communist area, I can't tell you if this really is true. So, these Dr. Hardy pipes seem to have been made in the Czech Republic by the PPK company. I searched the internet, found these pipes under various names. As I said, these are stamped Dr. Hardy. There is a version called a mini church warden with an elongated mouthpiece. In Japan, they are even sold under the Tsuge brand. And there it's mentioned that they are made by PPK. So these pipes were very cheap and I think I paid 12 euro to a maximum of 15 euro which is amazing because these pipes are very well done. Let's see if the camera can focus. A smooth Dublin shape. You have a nice grain on this one. No fills. For size comparison I included the check tool. You see these pipes are really small. They have a Vulcanite mouthpiece. They have a tiny stinger inside, which actually works. Here's a tiny apple shape with this hastily done line like rustication, which is often with rather cheap factory pipes. It's a perfect flake pipe, rather small. The only drawback is they have some kind of coating in the chamber. And this is the first time I get some strange taste from smoking it. So if you purchase such a pipe, maybe you can try to get this coating out. I haven't smoked this pipe. I have smoked this pipe several times. Still the taste is there and I hope it fades soon. And as I said, these pipes were very affordable for comparison. You see here a red trace blower's daughter pipe. Comparison, they are almost of the same size. Smoke equally well, except that the red race pipe is, is much more expensive than these cheap ones. Yeah, maybe I should show you the stinger. It has a unique design. These are not the usual Chinese made stingers many companies use these days works fine. And now to some interesting pipe advice. You probably have a pipe of your own that makes a whistling sound when being smoked. I've seen this also with several YTPC channels. When these guys smoke their pipes and you have this this voice ah. noise, sorry. You hear it? And it really gets annoying. It can drive you crazy 
it's annoying for the guys watching you but actually such a whistling pipe is a very good thing for you you probably have heard of the breathe method and you will suddenly realize if you use the breathe method the whistling noise is gone so the whistling noise is a reminder that you are drawing much too hard draw very very easily probably use the breathe method you will see the whistling noise is gone and that's actually the cadence and the strength of the, of the draw you should have so I'll try once more yeah if you use the breathe method with tobacco inside it is almost gone that's actually the way a pipe should be smoked so for now that's all i have to say thanks for watching thanks for joining me joining me at the green table again i hope to see you as soon as possible again yeah enjoy your smokes and cheers